Today we are going to learn how to use marketplace extension. This extension helps in converting a magento store into a multi vendor marketplace in few minutes time. Marketplace extension has mainly three main sections. First one is your admin section, second one is your vendor section and the last one is your front end section. First we will see the use of this extension from the admin section. Log in to the admin panel after installing this extension. In the admin section, an admin has an access over manage products, manage categories, review and ratings and other options under catalog option in the main navigation. Similarly, he also has an access over orders, invoices, shipments, credit memos, transactions, billing agreements, terms and conditions and other options in the sales options of the main navigation. Through managed products, an admin can add products to the store. Click on this managed product in order to add a product. Then click on add product. Move on with clicking on continue button you will see a form is generated then fill up this form suppose I am filling it up with read as my product name fill up the description short description write the SKU fill up the weight fill up the URL key select the vendor Now move on to prices, fill up the prices, select the tax class, now upload the image, click on these radio buttons, move on to inventory, fill up the quantity. select the stock availability move on to categories select the category of your product last save and continue edit if you missed with some field just fill it up and click on this save and continue edit you can see whether the product is added to the list or not under manage product in the catalog option you can see that your product gets added to this list similarly you can add a category under manage categories option in the catalog option you can add a category by selecting for example I have selected this root category then selecting add subcategory and filling up the form as you have filled up for the manage products and then filling up the following forms and at last clicking on the save category this is how you can create a new category of your products under review and ratings and add can check the status as well as change the status of reviews done by the customers for example move on to review and ratings customer reviews under pending reviews you can see all the reviews that are held for approval of the admin under all reviews you will see all the reviews whether they are held for approval or they are approved or rejected whatever be the status of the reviews all reviews are shown under this option if suppose 
the status of any of the review is rejected or unapproved help for approval just click on that product or the review and change the status of that review from here and save the review this is how you can change the status of the review under ratings you can manage the ratings of various products by adding new ratings or sorting it into a specified order this is how you can use this extension from the admin section now moving on to the vendor section a vendor can log in through the same panel from where an admin can but he has a limited access to the extension features as compared to the admin in admin section you can see these three options are available where from where a vendor can manage their products suppose in catalog it's shown managed products in vendor it is shown the orders transactions reviews question answers configuration system it is shown as my account import export so from catalog option a vendor can manage his products you can see that products are shown their types their attributes and whatever features they have he can also add new products to this list from vendor section he can check the orders of its product the transactions that he has the reviews that customer has posted for the products question and answer that customer has asked about the products in the configuration sector section he will check the paypal and the email status in the sec system section my account from my account a vendor can manage his accounts detail and from import and export he can import or export any file any product from the system or any other database a vendor who is not a seller or who has not sent any request to the admin since yet he can also send a request from the front end here from the option request seller by clicking on this option this form will get generated and once you fill up with this form and click on the submit button a request for becoming a seller will be sent to the admin once the admin approves your request you will become a vendor with the admin now moving on to the front end from the front end your front end page will look like this from the front end as a customer can log in with the existing email id or if a customer has not registered with the vendor he can create a new account and log in for the selling and purchasing for buying a product for example i have a account with this vendor so i will log in with my existing email my account i will manage these various options my account will have the following features a customer can do the shopping by clicking on my cart option then clicking on this option he can choose any product from the number of products listed at various stores for example i have selected this then clicking on to add to cart proceed to check out fill up the form then clicking on place order after 
placing the order once the product is delivered to you you can also rate the product and score your satisfaction level you can fill up the form generated for rating the product and clicking on the submit preview review you can submit your rating as well as review about the product you can use this extension in the way that i have told you i hope this video will be helpful for you for using this extension in future